All right, so today I've got this uh, 400 watt universal solar connector from Harbor Freight and the Thunderbolt line. I've gotten a lot of questions from people asking, you know, oh, can I hook up my two panels to my Jackery or uh, can I hook up, you know, multiple panels to this or that? So we're gonna find out. All right, so here I have a basic uh, charge controller, a marine battery, and one solar panel. So all of these are running. You can see the lights on there, got the solar panel blinking, the battery is present. So now we can add a second battery, hopefully, and connect them with this uh, multi-connector from Harbor Freight. All right, so here it is, a little UFO looking disc guy, yeah? and each behind each of one of these covers is a uh, SAE connector, which is this one, in case you're wondering. The main output there is just for a standard SAE connector. All right, you can see the connection there. It is pretty snug, I'll say that, so give them credit for that. Nothing's rattling. I mean, it is, you know, kind of odd shape, but other than that, it seems pretty solid. All right, so I've got the output running to the charge controller, but no inputs, and I'm gonna add some inputs here. All right, and with just the one Harbor Freight uh, non-folding panel hooked up, I'm getting the same signal and uh, everything's working. So I'm gonna put these back, connect them to the UFO. And it looks like uh, works as advertised. Now the main question is for two panels, would you rather just a little Y connector? And uh, this is great if you have like a third, a fourth and more panels. Of course you're limited to 400 watts anyway. So if you have several of these Harbor Freight panels, like I do, that's 100 each. So you could have four of those, connect it through. And for the $17 I paid for that, that's that's pretty good uh, to get a connector for four uh, panels for $17. That's not bad. Um, however, if you only have the two panels, I would suggest a Y adapter. You don't need all of that contraption to get from two plugs to one plug. But uh, it does feel solid, so and you won't lose it, I presume, in the way that, you know, maybe you misplace a cable. All right, so in the package are these two little eyelet hooks that uh, screw into the back of the UFO here. And I don't really know how you would uh, mount it that way. I mean, it wouldn't be secure. They'd obviously be looped onto something. So if you've used that, let me know how you did it. I can see it hanging from something that wasn't like a permanent mount. It does come with one cable, but the end is just bare. There's square inputs are to go into the screw ports of a charge controller so that's actually super handy and then you have a nice connection for your SAE cable all right so I'm gonna hook these two panels up to this Jackery 1000 power station that Keeley is standing guard over with the Harbor Freight multi connector we're just gonna hook up this first one really quick to make sure we get a signal a baseline and get out of the way of the panel. Look at 80 watts, 72 watts. Oh, my hat's in the shadow. 90 watts. All right. All right, so I've got the two panels wired up there. Going out to the Jackery. The two panels. Then a dog. Hello, dog. There you can see it. Maxing out 125 watts on this particular thing. Obviously the wattage is actually higher. This is the limit for the MPPT charge controller. So we got the two panels from Harbor Freight and the little UFO connecting them. All right, simple, easy connection. So this unit may be overkill for some of you, especially if you're only gonna use two panels. You could go to a Y adapter, but it also does work, no problem. And it's, uh, you know, kind of future proof. You could add many panels. Uh, it wouldn't need any more wattage for this particular Jackery unit, but for other power stations that handle more wattage or some other use where you're connecting to a charge controller, you could add, you know, up to 400 watts of solar onto it. So uh, there's a good future proof guy for 17 bucks that I paid. Uh, you could use that for a long time as you add panels and it's got a good wattage potential and uh, I do like the design actually I thought it was kind of goofy at first but now I'm kind of like it feels so solid that I, I just really like it. Alright, hope that helps.